video what's up guys welcome back to the channel today is the next QFA a little bit of a different environment I am in Kiana's backyard so I'm sorry if you guys hear cars passing she lives closer to a street than I do but it is beautiful outside I look extra white because the Sun is glaring on me but if you are new here and you want to find out a little bit more about my life make sure you do click that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up let's get this video to 100 likes and I have a surprise for you guys so 100 likes by one week from the upload date and little surprise. You guys submitted all your questions for about a week and a half, two weeks, and now I'm gonna read all of them. I'm going to leave a comment down in the comment section. Make sure you reply to that. If you have questions for the next QFA, whenever that is, I don't know. I just wait till I get a whole bunch of questions so I can do a longer QFA, answer more questions, yada, yada, yada. You guys know the spiel, so let's get into it. First questions come from Adeline Hernandez. Adeline Hernandez, sorry if I mispronounced your name, guys. I just wanna get that out of the way now. You actually had three questions. You said, where do you see yourself in six months? I would love to still be vlogging. I mean, I, I have every intention to do it, so I'll still be vlogging and just living my life. What is my favorite game, if you mean by video game, Mafia 2, and what is my favorite Disney movie? Technically, Infinity War, because Marvel is Disney, but if you wanna go like Disney princess or old Disney movies, Peter Pan would be my favorite Disney movie. JMSP asks, if I could, would I have kids? I would, but not anytime soon. I wanna wait a few years, well not, I wanna wait like maybe five, six years. Go do some things that Kiana and I wanna to do together. Obviously get married first, get our careers going, get a house, make sure we're financially stable, and then have kids. Michaela Rumpf asks, how many kids do you want to have in the future and which genders? Ideally, I would wanna have two kids, just one of each gender, you know, three at most, but I wanna have one of more than three, but ideally, one of each gender and having two. Austin Shaggun asks, would I rather have the power to be invisible or to fly and why? I would love to fly. I mean, invisible's cool, but it's only cool for certain things, like to sneak around and do stuff, but flying, I mean, I don't know, it'd be so cool I could just like sit here and fly up and jump off a building and fly down. I don't know, I feel like flying would be really, really cool. Heaven Oros, Oros asks, would you ever date a fan? I mean, no, because I'm dating Kiana. Unless you guys count Kiana as one of my fans, then yes, but no, I, I have no intention of ever breaking up with Kiana, so sorry. Liliana Campos asks, would I ever adopt a kid? I would if Kiana and I weren't able to have kids. Like, if something was wrong, then we would, but I would rather have my own kids, if you know what I mean. Rosicius Monterio, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, asks, what's my favorite candy? Goobers and Twix. Those two are like far above the rest. Maya Rodriguez asks, where do you see yourself in five years? I love your channel, by the way. Hopefully to still be YouTubing, vlogging, whatever it is I'm doing then, but still entertaining you guys and maybe even on a bigger scale. I don't know, we'll see where the journey takes us. Kaylee Cole asks, did you know about the Ace Family before they gave you a shout out? I knew the name Austin McBroom, like I heard it over social media before, but I didn't know who the Ace Family was had you like showed me five different families, I probably couldn't point them out. So no, I didn't really know them. Michelle Abro asks, what animal would be the cutest if scaled down to the size of a cat? And what movie can you watch over and over without ever getting tired of? I honestly think maybe an elephant or a cheetah the size of a cat would be, I, th I feel like an elephant would be so cute. And, oh, now I want a little cat elephant. <laughs> and what movie? Probably The Dark Knight or Infinity War. Catherine Portillo asks, so were you going to do a friend's makeup? I think in a video you said you would. Yes, I remember what you're talking about. It's when I did Kiana's makeup, I said if that video hit 250 likes within the first two weeks it was up, I would do Andrew's makeup, but it did not. It might have hit 250 now, but it, within the first two weeks of the time frame, it did not hit it. So hopefully one day I can do another try to make up thing, but as of right now, we did not hit that goal. So I'm sorry I'm not doing that. Soccer Girl 101 asks, What's your favorite restaurant to eat at? Well, I mean, favorite of all time would probably be Ruth Chris. WASD asks, are you a hype beast? Currently, no. I used to work at PacSun. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's a clothing store out here on the West Coast. I don't know if it's anywhere else, but I used to have to be for that. I have real Yeezys, I have real Supreme, all that type of stuff. Michael Perez asks, what's my favorite sport? My favorite sport is football, like NFL football, or basketball. Oh, we have a little, we have a little guest. Come here. Sure, man. It's okay. Look, look who it is. It's Rowdy. Rowdy, look at the camera. You okay, baby? 
All right guys, Rowdy is in my lap now, so you might not be able to see her, but uh, here she is. <laughs> Kenny Salazar asks, what's my favorite fast food restaurant to go to? in and out hands down, in and out Mitzi Herrera asks, am I a soccer fan? I am not, I'm sorry. Ruby Cardenas, sorry I mispronounced your name, asks, what's my most embarrassing secret, if I don't mind sharing? Honestly... Probably, I think I said this story before, but I was I was eight years old and I was at Mammoth. It's a mountain where you can ski and stuff. I was taking skiing classes and there was a whole big class. I accidentally went down the hill super fast before the instructor and everyone else got there. I laid down in the snow because I was just watching them come down the slope. And I really had to pee, so I peed not knowing you would pee through my pants. Also not knowing that it would make snow yellow for some reason. It didn't cross my mind. When the instructor and the entire class got down there and they helped me up, they looked and saw this big puddle of yellow and I got so embarrassed. But other than that, I don't really get embarrassed anymore. Monsterat Galagos asks, do you see yourself doing YouTube in five years? I mean, I would love to still be doing it. I hope I am, so in five years from now, if you're still watching, let me know down in the comment section. <laughs> Lena underscore asks, would you be able to say my name? Marlena. Valerie V asks, how old am I? I am 19, but my birthday is in a month, so I'm about to be 20. Anita Jokan has two questions. Have you ever dreamt something and it came true? Yes, I dreamt that I would break 100 subscribers and I, I did. And what does it take to be a YouTuber? It takes, honestly, just the passion for wanting to entertain and the patience. Rose and Liz asks, you should do a collab with the Ace Family. I would love to do a collab with the Ace Family. I'm working on a way to get in contact with them. All right guys, ready? Ready left, she jumped down. Anna Martinez Gauna, Gauna, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, asks, What's the craziest thing you want to do in life? The thing that I want to do, I don't know if I would do. I mean, I want to go skydiving, but I saw this video of this one time of this guy who was skydiving and he threw the parachute out of the plane and then jumped after it. That'd be really fun to do. I mean, that's way too dangerous to honestly do. And years and years of training and experience. Karina Flores asked, Disneyland or Universal? Definitely Disneyland. Anna Hunt asks, what town in Washington? I live 30 minutes away from Seattle. We're going to Rainier. That's where my uncle and aunt live. So that's like three hours from Seattle. Mama D, you keep asking for fan names. I know I want a fan name just as bad as you do. Bistro Alley asks, have I ever been to New York in Miami? I've been to New York and I was in Miami for a layover on a plane. I'd never been outside and like looked around. I would love to though. Gorilla Gaming asks, how do I make my thumbnails? I can't go into too detailed depth about it because I don't have Photoshop in front of me, but I use Photoshop. It's really simple. Just look up how to make like vlogging thumbnails and then you will find it a super easy tutorial. Jenna S has a few questions for me. She says, how often do you play sports? Well, I can't now because of my cast, but before I used to play basketball with my friends like every other day. And then what skill would I like to master? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. I'd have to think about that one. Trinity Rogers asks, how long have I been doing YouTube? I have been doing YouTube, well, vlogging YouTube since March 7th. I think that was when I created the, my like my Alex Ant Vlogs channel, but I, I don't remember what day it was I uploaded my very first video. Music Maniac asks, are you going to attempt to call Austin again? I mean, if he does Instagram Lives again, I'll definitely hop in there and try to request to go live with him. I mean, since I'm not a verified account, he doesn't see my request unless he like hits the request button and looks at everything. So hopefully I can, that would be pretty cool. Obviously I would vlog it if that ever did happen and hopefully ask him to do some kind of collab, but I don't know, it's really unlikely, but of course I'm gonna keep trying no matter what. Liliana asks, waffles or pancakes? <sighs> waffles are my favorite, hands down, but I also love pancakes, it's just, I think I love waffles more because a lot of breakfast places I go to don't make waffles, so they're more of a rarity for me, which just makes them taste better in my opinion. But waffles has the upper notch over pancakes. The Ace Family asks, it's not like the actual Ace Family, it's just like, it looks like a fan account, asks, how did you and Kiana meet each other? We went on a school trip to Italy over two years ago and we met on the trip and kicked it off and here we are two and a half years later. Tia Abusamara asks, when is my birthday? It's August 30th and what is my favorite place to visit? <sighs> Probably Washington if you want to talk about somewhere to go and visit. Michael Perez asks, two questions, LeBron or MJ? If you're asking who I think the better player is, 
I would have to say Michael, but if you're asking who I like more, I would say LeBron. And then you also ask favorite music, art, or band. I mean, pop is like my favorite genre of music. Ashley G. Ruiz asks, what's the farthest place I've traveled? I don't know geographically which is farther, Peru or Italy. So whichever of those two are farther, then that would be my farthest place traveled. Z Shack asks, who was I dating before Kiana? Before Kiana, I hadn't dated anyone in a year, but her name was Maddie. If you guys have seen Trent in the vlogs, the blonde kid, it was his older sister. But after her and I broke up, I didn't date or like anybody for over a year until I met Kiana. All right guys, well, that is the end of the QFA. Thank you for all your questions. I hope all your questions were answered. If your question was not answered, it could be for multiple reasons. One, it was inappropriate or just not good for YouTube, I guess. Two, it could have been like a repeat. Someone might have asked the question before or your question was so similar to someone else's that I had already answered it. But guys, make sure you do go down to the comment section and reply to the comment if you have any more questions for another QFA sometime in the future. Probably like another week and a half to two weeks is what I'm thinking. But like always, I leave comments down on QFAs. You reply to those with questions and once I get enough questions, I stop leaving the comments so I can tally up all the questions and answer them and all that fun stuff. Post notification shout out does go to Z Shack. Thank you bro for subscribing to the channel. Guys, you have to do four, it's five. You have to do four things to get a post notification shout out or just shout out. You have to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button, give this video a huge thumbs up, and the last thing, the easiest thing, is go down to the comment section and comment a done. And with that being said, as always, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.